Hello guys and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to mount the Renology 100 watt solar panel up to the top of my Forerunner's roof rack which is a Sherpa uh, Princeton roof rack. First what I'm going to do is make sure this solar panel works by hooking up the adapter that came with my Blue Eddy so those are the extension cords. I think this is long enough to make to do the tests on the um, solar panel. So we're just going to use this. Get it in the shade to see if it'll start charging and see how many watts we get. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh baby, it's charging. Let's see how many watts it's going to give us. This is pretty strong sunlight too. There are no clouds overhead, but I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's only showing 13 watts, 39, 40, that might be hard for you guys to see because of the glare. Do so far, let me take the styrofoam off, hang on. Alright, see, it's up to 51, 52 now. 73, there we go. Jumped up just like that once I got the styrofoam off. That's awesome. Okay. Alright, now that we got those plates off, what I'm going to do is remove this crossbar as, as well as this crossbar. Right, let's take that crossbar down. Let's set them aside for now. Okay guys, let's grab the hardware that comes with the solar panel. So, in this little bracket we have these little uh, base plate mounts. And there are a total of four, along with some hardware to mount them on to the uh, solar panel. The bolt, the lock washer, and then the um, the washer itself. The lock washer keeps the bolt from rattling out with all the vibration on the road and keeps the, um, the base plates uh, placed together nicely. Okay guys, so I did some measurements and it looks like things are gonna be extremely, extremely tight. Um, if uh, I do this correctly, it should fit um, super perfectly it might need I might need some playing around with but anyway I got them loosely on as you guys can see uh, this actually comes with a bolt a locking washer a washer and a nut on the back to tighten it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all four sides and then mount it to the rails here and once they're on I'm then gonna move it up to the roof of the car and try to get everything aligned. Okay, we ran into a bit of an issue, and that issue is this um, quarter inch 5 8 hex bolt. It's just a little bit too long for our application. So this is how long it is. You can see all that space. So I'm gonna have to come back to this project and either find a spacer, trim this down, or find a bolt that is a little bit shorter, but I don't think it really gets much shorter than, I don't know, five, uh, five-eighths or half an inch 
so we'll have to see. After having gone to the hardware store, I have found a solution. <clears throat> and it's a 516 to 18 um, nut. So they look like this. Stainless steel. It slips right over. It slips right over the bolt that we need, as well as the washer. And so, and the T nut. So, this is the piece that I'm going to mount to the crossbar. Eventually, the solar panel will be screwed in right here. But the issue was being able to. Uh, close the gap with a quote-unquote spacer but uh, I couldn't find any plastic spacers that would fit the diameter of this bolt it's um, I think a quarter inch and so this is the bolt that I found about eight of them because there's two holes on each of these brackets and so it slips right over um, the bolt and uh, you're going to imagine the T-nuts are in the crossbars here. That's the T-nut I'm holding. And what I'm going to do is to tighten it down, I'm just going to twist this, twist this down. And then as you can see, you can actually tighten there. And there's, it's flush. The bottom of the T-nut is flush. So the bolt is not going to be uh, hitting the... Uh, the crossbars. So this is it. I just need to mount uh, four of these brackets in total to these crossbars and then mount the solar panel on top of that. That's one. We're going to do the second one. Oh, it needs to be elevated, so like this. There we go. Okay, so it'll be elevated like this. I'm gonna split them apart, feed the first uh, bolt through there, and it should make a connection. That felt like it. And then, luckily, this lined up perfectly, so I just need to get another bolt. So, one, two, three. Boom, let's assemble it, starting with the washer, and then the nut. Then I am going to thread this guy over here. Okay, it's already on there. Now I can slide it to where I need it to be. Uh, so that's one. We're going to go bolt, washer, bolt, washer, and then spacer. and spacer all right great so we'll set that down on the ground one you can slide it keep it loose enough so you can slide it around and make your adjustments Guys, we did it. The crossbars are now mounted to the solar panel. All I gotta do is bring it over to the truck, slap it on top. Okay, now I can tighten everything down. Now that everything is aligned. 
Okay guys, everything's bolted down and complete. It's looking good if I'm being honest. Things have bolted up evenly on the roof rack. And let's go ahead and take a look. Bam, check that out. Looking good. Nice and centered. The clearance with my rifle box is just perfect. There's about an inch or two in between and because it's elevated uh, the hardware makes this elevated there's a bit of a gap now um, this is the level part without elevation and there's about a maybe a few centimeters there but I don't know if you guys can see but my solar panel connections are stuck in there and it's difficult unless you have like a hooked item even a, a measuring tape, that little metal lip might be able to pull them out. But luckily, I'm in a forerunner with a sunroof. And shout out to my brother-in-law. He also gave me the idea of potentially running the solar panel cords through the cracked uh, sunroof as well. So let's start up the car. And we're gonna go tilt up. That's a tilt up button. Ooh. This is pretty sweet because it is tilted. And I think there's enough gap for the sol solar panel wires to, for it to fit through here. But we're not doing that right now. We're gonna slide it open. Actually, we might test that theory. So see, here are the cords I couldn't access before. Now I can direct it down this way. I think I would zip tie it here just so that it's pointing off to the right side of the car. Um, and let's go ahead and, I'm not gonna do the extension tonight where it goes in the back. I'm just gonna hook it up to the uh, battery itself right now. Okay guys, moment of truth, I fed the adapter solar adapter to the solar panel here's our dc eight millimeter cord let's see if it powers up Ooh, just turned on it is the sun is going down well, it looks like it's charging but without any consistent sun it's hard to say how many watts this actually is yeah i think it's already topped off but uh it works um guys if you liked that video on how to install a renology 100 watt solar panel to the top of your serpa equipment company roof rack hit that thumbs up below you know that was a great video anyway i'll see you guys in the next one